Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we are going to be solving another problem from the beginner level of CodeChef in C++. The problem we are solving today is an Ormos input test. Uh, and the problem code is intest, I-N-T-E-S-T. Uh, yeah, this is the problem. So, the purpose of this problem is to verify whether the method you are using to read input data is sufficiently fast to handle problems branded with enormous input or output warning. You are expected to be able to process at least 2.5 MB of input data per second at runtime. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go through the input also. The input begins with two input, uh, two positive integers, n and k. Uh, and both n and k are less than or equal to 10 power 7. Uh, the next 10 lines of input contain one positive integer ti not greater than 10 power 9 each and what should be the output uh, write a single integer to output denoting how many integers ti are divisible by k all right let's look at the example uh, okay first let me explain what's the purpose of the problem well the purpose of the problem is to is for you to research uh, a faster method uh, to take input and give output Right. Uh, if, when we are dealing with uh, larger amounts of uh, inputs and outputs, uh, we really have to. Uh, the methods we are using should be fast enough to grasp the input, uh, so that uh, we can get all the data, and they also have to be fast enough to, so that we can uh, give the output as fast as fast as required. Right. Uh, and uh, so this problem is basically testing that by giving two numbers n this is the first one n and then this is k and uh, n is just the number of lines that will follow which is the number of numbers that will be given head and what we have to check is we have to uh, see if each number is uh, is divisible by uh, this k okay so 1 is not divisible by 3 so the count is still 0 and then 51 is divisible by 3 so we increase the count by 1 and then we see this and it is divisible by 3 so we increase the count by one more so count is 2 now so we keep go keep on doing that and uh, finally we see that the output is 4 because the 4 uh, divisible numbers are 51 this big number and then we got 9 and then another big number right these 4 are the divisible by 3 numbers so we got the output 4 okay that's basically what we have to check now uh, now when we uh, you know select the C++ thing we see that there is already uh, a solution here and this is uh, you know this is like a standard uh, thing that they men mentioned uh, so they're using these methods like uh, cin dot tie and uh, iOS base uh, sync with studio is false right so we can use that and increase the speed a bit more then what uh, conventional methods like uh, see in and see out or scan of and printf uh, uh, you know uh, perform it but there is a caveat to it so i'll be uh, putting a link in the description uh, mentioning you know so i have a you know stack overflow uh, thread here so this guy uh, i'm sorry uh, this this girl JM has like uh, this guy has really good response to the question that is asked here, uh, which is what is the significance of including these two, uh, and what do they really mean, right? So th this guy has really done a great job here. So I will I'll be putting this link in the description. Please go check that out uh, to understand what they really mean before using them. Okay, so I I'll not be using those things. I'll be actually be clearing all of this out, and I'll explain uh, from the scratch. Uh, by using just uh, C in and C out, just the normal methods because they work uh, very well because C++ is uh, really fast in the normal way uh, as it is, right? We don't need such uh, complications and it, uh, it it has something to do with synchronizations. So if you uh, read through it, you will understand that it's not it's not a perfect solution. So yeah, th so that's why I'm not uh, using uh, uh, those uh, lines, okay? So we just uh, first of all we need the boiler uh, template which is hash include io stream ok 
Okay, now uh, we are taking n and k, right? So we need to first define them and comma k. And we also need a count variable, but uh, we'll define it later. We'll understand why in a bit. So uh, we need to take them in c in n n and another one which is k, right? Now now for int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus so we are basically taking uh, all the n values one by one uh, let's define a variable in you know, x and then c in x if x percentile k equal to equal to 0 Actually, we also need a count here, so let's initialize that to zero because we don't have any. At the start, we don't have any uh, value there, and if x is per, x percentile k equal to zero, which means it is divisible by k, then we just increment the count value, right? And at the end, we just uh, print the count. Yeah, so this should work. Should work uh, perfectly fine. C in and C outs. Let's check with the given give input and output first. So we should get 4 when we run this. Oh, sorry, uh, there's a small uh, typo here. There we go, we got the 4 there. So we'll just submit that and see if it works. See from all the languages C and C++ are really fast uh, when compared to Python so there shouldn't be a problem uh, while using the default uh, you know these uh, C in and C out methods. So we got 0.64 seconds so this can be reduced by if we use uh, the other solution uh, but it's not really necessary because you know uh, the time constraint is 8 seconds and it's work working perfectly fine. And if you have to, you you know, use those kind that sort of uh, you know really complex uh, structures, it is you're probably at another level uh, when you're solving those kind of problems, right? So you'll have uh, another kind of solutions for that. So yeah, yeah, this should work. Uh, I'll try and uh, if you find any other way which is like better than what I what you know uh, I presented, uh, please do share with me. Uh, uh, go down to the comment section and uh, you know put a link or something uh, if you don't understand any part of the problem please uh, you know uh, comment down I will try to uh, help you out uh, yeah thanks for watching please hit the like button if you like it uh, you know dislike if you don't like it uh, share any feedback and yeah thanks for watching